Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to this exciting video where I have some great news for you. If you haven't heard by now, the EIDL program, yes, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan has $10,000 grants back in effect. So a lot of you guys probably remember me first introducing the EIDL uh, loan program months ago and I actually created a step-by-step uh, 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 video walking you through the application process. Um, so if you missed out on that, well, <laughs> you definitely want to stick around for this article. I'm going to just walk through this article. I'm not going to take much more time. I'm going to jump right into this now because I know this is why you guys are here. So you can see the new EIDL, $10,000 EIDL grants. Do you qualify? So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what's the criteria? Will I be eligible for this second round of the EIDL grants? Well, as you can see, um, it appears these grants are meant to fill a gap, blah, 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 blah. They received. Um, so basically, <laughs> there's a lot of money that's been allocated for the EIDL as well as the PPP. I did make a video on that already. So definitely check out my uh, some of my previous videos that I've released over the past day or two. Um, but it says it appears these grants are meant to fill a gap for businesses that may not have received the full $10,000 EIDL grants described in the CARES Act. By way of background, the CARES Act that was passed March 27, 2020 included a grant or advance for those who applied for the EIDL loan in the amount of up to $10,000. The SBA later determined that those grants would be made in an amount of $1,000 per employee. And like I said in one of my previous videos to me, I believe they made that change once they saw, you know, us self-employed folks, us sole proprietorships, um, catching on to this kind of loop or not loop, but lack of um, writing that would basically prevent people from getting $10,000. Um, I think once, the, you know, everyone kind of got on board that the, the you know, the freelancer, the independent contractor, the sole proprietor, um, I think that's when they really felt the urge, the urgency to change it from $10,000 down to $1,000 per employee. But that's just my thought. Um, continuing the article, it says many business owners felt cheated. In addition, the funds available for grants were exhausted before all eligible businesses received them. This new legislation, this new legislation appears to fix these problems. As I was saying to you guys before, definitely keep in mind, uh, you know, this information is changing rapidly and is based on our current understanding of the programs that can and likely will change. Although there will be, uh, although we will be monitoring and updating this new information um, as it becomes available, blah, blah, blah. So uh, worth noting, businesses that applied for an EIDL even earlier in 2020 and met the qualifications um, may receive the full $10,000 grant minus any amount already received if, even if their EID applications were not approved. Do you hear that, my friends? Do you hear that? Let me read that again. It says businesses that applied for the EIDL even earlier in 2020 and met the qualifications may receive the full $10,000 grant uh, even if their EIDL applications were not approved. That is good news. So how do I qualify for the new EIDL grant? To qualify for the full $10,000 EIDL grant, a business must be located in a low income community and have suffered an economic loss greater than 30% and employ not more than 300 employees. In addition, the business must qualify as an eligible entity as defined in the CARES Act a small business cooperative ESOP tribal concern with fewer than 300 employees, an individual who operates under a under as a sole proprietorship with or without employees or as an independent contractor or a profit, a private nonprofit or small agricultural cooperative. Uh, the business must have been in operation by January 31st, 2020. And then uh, this business must be directly affected by COVID. Um, economic loss, loss is defined as the amount by which the gross receipts of the covered entity declining declined during an eight-week period between March 2nd, 2020 and December 17th, 2021. 
uh, relative to a comparable eight-week period immediately preceding uh, March 2nd, 2020, or during 2019. And it says the SBA will come up with a formula for uh, seasonal businesses. And then right here it says, I know some of you guys might be asking, what's a low-income community? It says a low-income community is defined in Section 4 5 d um, as follows. The term low-income community means that any population census tract if the uh, poverty rate for such tract is at least 20% or in this case of a tract not located within a metropolitan area, the median family income for such tract does not exceed 80% of statewide median family income or in the case of a tra tract uh, located within a metropolitan area, the median family income for such tract does not exceed 80% of the greater of statewide median family income or metropolitan area uh, median family income. So almost finishing this up, it says our EIDL grants taxable. Good news, the new legislation clarifies that EIDL grants are not taxable, that businesses who receive them will not be denied a tax deduction for qualified expenses paid for with those funds, and that EIDL grants will not be deducted from a PPP for small forgiveness purposes. And it says, what else do I need to know? According to the legislation, the SBA will have 21 days after receiving the business's owner's request to verify whether the business qualifies and, if so, to provide the advance. This program extends through December 31st, 2021. How do I apply for these new EIDL grants? We are waiting for details from the Small Business Administration and will update this article when they are available. In addition to the EIDL grants, your business may qualify for a new PPP loan in which I've made some videos on this as well. And uh, yeah, definitely great news, news that we've been waiting for. I mean, let's be honest, they've kind of dropped the ball when it comes to the stimulus checks being that it was reduced, which I felt it should have been increased. I thought but the first time around it wasn't enough, but yeah, crazy times. Um, but, um, you know, while they've kind of neglected the uh, worker or regular people, I guess you can say, um, they have put, again, a lot of attention, a lot more energy towards the PPP and the EIDL, which support small businesses, which includes those who are self-employed, sole proprietorships, independent contractors, like many of you who are watching this. So along with these type of programs, I do have tons of other local grants and loans and rental assistance programs that I've been covering and releasing. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, definitely do that so you can make sure you stay up to date on all of those uh, programs that are being rolled out. And again, this is free money for your business expenses. Why wouldn't you uh, want some of that, right? Um, after that, like this video. It does help me. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So definitely give a nice little thumbs up. Shows me you guys appreciate the time I put into these videos and the research I do and whatnot. Um, and uh, lastly, leave a comment down below letting me know what your situation is in terms of any of these grants, any loans. Have you been able to benefit from them? And if not, let me know what state, what city, what county you are in. Um, again, leave that comment down in the sec uh, down below. And, um, you know, when I come across those those uh, grants or loans that are relevant to your particular neck of the woods, I will be sure to cover it in a video similar to this. So make sure definitely like this video subscribe to the channel and uh yeah gotta keep uh keep your your, your pedal to the metal because uh, again there's a lot of money out there and you, you'll only have a chance to get it if you apply some of these have first come first serve others um have just a limited amount of money but you know you gotta shoot your shot so i'm gonna wrap it up there gotta keep it moving but you guys already know i'll see you in the next video peace